Lesson 2. Powerless. Principle 1. Realize I am not God. I admit that I am powerless to control my tendency to do the wrong thing and that my life is unmanageable. Happy are those who know they are spiritually poor. Matthew 5.3. Step 1. We admitted we were powerless over our addictions and compulsive behaviors, that our lives had become unmanageable. For I know that good itself does not dwell in me, that is, in my sinful nature. For I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. Romans 7.18 When we accept the first recovery principle and take that first step out of our denial and into reality, we see there, there are very few things that we really have control over. Once we admit that by ourselves we are powerless, we can stop living with the following serenity robbers spelled out in the acrostic powerless. P is for pride. Ignorance plus power plus pride equal a deadly mixture. Pride ends in a fall while humility brings honor. Proverbs 29:23. The O is for only ifs. Our only ifs in life keep us trapped in the fantasy land of rationalization. Whatever is covered up will be uncovered, and every secret will be made known. So then whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in broad daylight. Luke 12, 2-3 The W is for worry. Worrying is a form of not trusting God enough. So don't be anxious about tomorrow. God will take care of your tomorrow too. Live one day at a time. Matthew 6, 34 The E is for escape. By living in denial, we may have escaped into a world of fantasy and unrealistic expectations of ourselves and others. For light is capable of showing up everything for what it really is. It is even possible for light to turn the thing it shines upon into light also. Ephesians 5, 13 through 14. The R is for resentments. Resentments act like an emotional cancer if they're allowed to fester and grow. In anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. And do not give the devil a foothold. Ephesians 4, 26 through 27. Loneliness. Loneliness is a choice. In recovery and in Christ, you never have to walk alone. Continue to love each other with true brotherly love. Don't forget to be kind to strangers. For some you have done this, have enter entertained angels without realizing. Hebrews 13, 1 through 2. The E is for emptiness. You know that empty feeling deep inside, the cold wind of hopelessness, blows right through it. Jesus said, My purpose is to give life in all its fullness. John 10.10 10. Selfishness We often pray, Our Father, which art in heaven, give me, give me, give me. Whoever clings to his life shall lose it, and whoever loses his life shall save it. Luke 17.33 The S is for separation. Some people talk about finding God as if he could ever get lost. For I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from his love. Death can't and life can't. The angels won't and all the powers of hell itself cannot keep love, God's love away. Nothing will ever be able to separate us from the love God demonstrated by our Lord Jesus Christ when he died for us. Romans 8, 38 through 39. Congratulations. In your admission of your powerlessness, you have begun the journey of recovery that will allow you to accept the true and only higher powers, Jesus Christ, healing, love, and forgiveness. At this stage in your recovery, you need to stop doing two things. One, stop denying the pain. You are ready to take your first step in recovery when your pain is greater than your fear. Pity me, O Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, for my body is sick, and I am upset and disturbed. My mind is filled with apprehension and with gloom. Psalm 6, 2 through 3. 2. Stop playing God. You are unable to do it for yourself, what you need God to do for you. You're either going to serve God or yourself. You cannot serve both. You cannot be a slave of two masters. You will hate one and love the other. You will be loyal to one and despise the other. Matthew 6, 24. In addition to stopping certain behaviors, you need to start doing two things. 1. Start admitting your powerlessness. As you work the first principle, you will see that by yourself, 
you do not have the power to change your hurts, hang-ups, and habits. Jesus said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Matthew 19.26 2. Start admitting that your life has become unmanageable. You can finally start admitting that some, some or all areas of your life are out of your control to change. Problems far too big for me to solve are piled higher than my head. Meanwhile, my sins, too many to count, have all caught up with me, and I am ashamed to look up. Psalm 40, verse 12. Dear God, your word tells me that I can't heal my hurts, hang-ups, and habits by just saying that they are not there. Help me. Parts of my life or all of my life are out of control. I know that I cannot fix myself. It seems the harder that I try to do the right thing, the more I struggle. Lord, I want to step out of my denial into the truth. I pray for you to show me the way. In your son's name I pray. Amen.